If you've been thinking of a career change, this may be a segment just for you. We have with us a great guest that I really appreciate, Bob Dempster. He's with Bob Dempster. Dempster. I'm sorry, Bob, <laughs> and associates, and uh, he is a specialist, I call it a specialty, in court reporting. So, Bob, we thank you for coming and sharing with us today. Thank you. This has always been of great interest to me because I had a background um, in school of taking business courses and shorthand and that type of thing, and so this has always reminded me of a shorthand machine of sorts. Uh, tell us a little bit about this court reporting and how you came into it, and, and then show us maybe this machine. Okay. Court reported the machine itself is done basically as a uh, phonetic sound, like your regular shorthand, except there are letters on every key. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we do is we, we learn in school combinations of letters, and I'll show you, I guess, when I get to the machine. And we write these in uh, a number of letters at one time, rather than like a typewriter, one key at a time. And I got into it really from high school. Uh, the court reporting school in Los Angeles came through and put on a demonstration and I was impressed mm -hmm. and thought well that sounds real interesting and I started working Tell me about your concentration. Now you have to take down every word that's spoken in the court session, is that correct? That's right. Yeah. Uh, you really have to concentrate? Yes, if you don't you're in big trouble. Do you ever say, oh, excuse me one moment, uh, could I hear that again? <laughs> yes. Occasionally you do, do we that? do sure. Occasionally we do, you know, if, if uh, people are talking, you know, they get excited a lot yeah. of times in court, a lot of tension going on. And if um, an attorney is, is uh, questioning a witness and, and somebody's objecting, the other attorney objects and the other witness is trying to talk, mm -hmm. you got three people trying to talk at one time. So in that instance, we excuse me, Your Honor, uh, we need one at a time, you know, and we have to kind of well, control nice. that situation. Usually everyone that I've seen doing this uh, is so... Uh, a, wonderful at it. You just see them sitting there typing away and you never hear a peep out of them. So right. that's why I wondered. So how long have you been doing this then? Well, I think it's probably about 17 years, 16 or 17 years. Well, you are a and pro, aren't you? Well, <laughs> I work at it. Yeah. Well, uh, would you encourage someone in this field that, that is interested in this and maybe they've been interested in legal matters? And this would be a, you know, don't have the time to be a, a, a lawyer, perhaps, but this would put them in the court. That's right. It, it is a good profession. Um, I would encourage that. There are some court reporting schools that specialize in uh, this uh, court reporting. You can go to school. There's one in Clearwater. There's one in Tampa. They, How the wonderful. Votech has one. And uh, it's approximately... And you're never too old to learn? No, no. Well, that might be something no. I might want to check into. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> You, you never know. That's right. You should always have a backup talent, right? <laughs> That's right. How are you doing, Jim? I'm fine. Okay. okay. I'm just fine. I, I know that you want to go into court reporting because it would be probably more stable than yeah. television. <laughs> and a weak co-host with you. <laughs> yeah. But I'm here to help you. Really. I know, and be a blessing. I'm here to help you and be a blessing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does this interest is it, you? Is it for a marvelous little machine? It is. It's, it's wonderful. That is a fan. Really, I, I think it's wonderful. Now, um, you like such gadgets and buttons. And well, <laughs> what I'm interested in, um, how, how does it work? Okay. You want me to sit down or you just want me to tell you right now? Well, you could tell me and then show me. Okay. Um, this here is a, a computerized stenograph machine. It's called a stenograph machine. And uh, uh, it has a disc on the side. And I'm up here in the chair and I, uh, you know, I'm mm -hmm. explaining it from up here. I actually probably should be there. But uh, the computer, as I'm writing down, it's got a disc and it's writing everything on that disc that I'm writing on this paper right here. And what happens is when I'm all done and the transcript is ordered, I take it to my office, I put it into my uh, computer, and I, I program it with the proper names of the attorneys and the judge and things like that and command it to uh, translate the stenograph into English. Mm. And then it translates it into English, and then we bring it up on the screen and we edit it from there for any corrections, uh, changes of punctuation. Now we we like had a, a little uh, demonstration here a little earlier. This is some of the tape that Bob did. And as a matter of fact, uh, he's going to be cooking with us. He's a man of so many talents. And uh, this is the recipe, I understand. <laughs> I'd be <laughs> like to start taking it down. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Can you read that, Jim? <laughs> That's very nice. Well, would you like oh, you, camera three? You want to see that? Let them see it all. Yeah. So you do really have your own language. Yes. Yes. 
And, and to explain a little bit about the language, what we do, you can't have every letter on the keyboard because you'd have to have two alphabets, one for the first part of the word and one for the last part of the word because there are words like streets that have an S at the beginning and S at the end. So we have to memorize combinations of other letters to equal a different letter. Mm. As an example, if the camera, uh, well, it's not on here right now, but it's uh, the first uh, letters we see here is a T and a K. That stands for a D, mm. see? And the P and the L stands for an M. Now, you can read this back yourself? Yes. Very well. That's good. <laughs> I told Bob earlier, in shorthand, I did very well while I was using it every day. But then there was a lapse, and I didn't use it. Then I went to another job where I used it, and I still wrote it very well. It's all up here in your kidney. And I really wrote it very well, but then I forgot how to read it back. <laughs> <laughs> so I was in trouble. So this is the recipe you're going to do today? Yes, that's the recipe. And uh, tell me what the recipe is. Show us. I'm, I'm curious. Show me what the recipe is there. Let me read it? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't have my glasses with it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It says uh, Dempster's Kraut Corned Beef Casserole. And it's one can kraut, one half block grated cheese, one can corned beef, deli-style pumpernickel bread, one tomato slices, or one uh, tomato sliced. And... Uh, Place, and then it gives the recipe on how to make that. Oh, great. Now, what it, you take this and you take it back to your office and the computer translates it, types it up, and you can see if there's any errors it, in the yeah. typing. Then, after then we put it on the screen and then it, we edit it to correct. And Why don't you sure show us how it works? All right, sure. Now, does every stenographer uh, have to have their own equipment? They have to buy their own machine? Yes. Yes. So that would be and the computers. Initial this machine investment. here is about thirty-two hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Right here, on this side rather, is the disc. Oh see? yes. And it's put on this uh, hard disc. That's neat. Yeah. And it's beeping, telling me that the disc is in use. Put it back. <laughs> <laughs> and slap your hand. That's what it said. That's right. Uh. And so, uh, what we do is, uh, if you will talk, I'll, I'll just go ahead and write something, Rita. Okay. Uh, Jim Gates is my co-host on Together Again, and normally he's up and happy and very vibrant, but during the past week, the enemy has come in with an infection in his body, and he's feeling very weak and down, and I've encouraged him to stay home and rest, but will he ever listen to me? No, never take my advice. Just keeps coming and hanging on me and telling me he's sick and he's weak and he's going to make it be a blessing to me, but I say, stay home. That's all I have to say. <laughs> and we'll have the results of this trial in just a moment. <laughs> Judge Rotman will have the details for us coming up in just a moment. So stay tuned for that. Should Jim Gates stay home, or should he just continually be a blessing to his little sister, Rita? Stay home. Stay home. <laughs> and as you type this now, it all just folds very neatly in this trial. Right. It just folds right on through. That's amazing. I love it. Now, um, if read this back, it says... Um, I too believe that Jim should stay home, and I don't even know why I'm here today. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the cooking segment, though. But I, I really wish Jim had stayed home too because it's really getting on my nerves. <laughs> so I can see his, his, his speaking out of his inner man there. So he was just concurring. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Something interesting, last, uh, uh, well, it was about a year and a half, I took the home shopping versus GTE trial, which lasted six and a half weeks. Oh, my, Bob, you were in that. That was a very good good trial. A lot of paper. A lot of paper. <laughs> now, tell me, uh, someone's encouraged, they want to be a court reporter, they go through school, purchase their little machine, they're ready to go. How easy is it to be a court reporter? Well, I myself am what's called the official court reporter of Pinellas County. Mm -hmm. There are three of us in the county. I'm, I'm in Clearwater, and two others are in St. Pete, and we're all of the, of the county. We have deputy official court reporters that work for us, and when you get out of school, they, you would apply with one of us, and, and, uh, and we would interview you and, and mm -hmm. hire you uh, if we felt that you had the qualifications. Um, I also have a freelance business and, and some office where we do deposition work. And, oh, yes, and, uh, that's a need sometimes. One of my reporters, uh, probably in a month or two, might be going to Austria oh, to wow. do depositions. And August 1st, I'm going to Jamaica to do depositions. Uh, about four years ago, I went to Germany, Munich, Germany, to mm -hmm. do depositions. So a whole so, world right. of travel could even open up for you. It could. 
just take that little baby and pack it up and be gone. That's, huh? right. That's wonderful. I'm excited about this. I really like this. I'm going to check into that <laughs> education. <laughs> In case this doesn't work That's out. That's right. You never know. In case know. I just really get Be on your nerves. Be free to hear the voice of the Lord. That's right. <laughs> now, Are we going to go to some music? He's, He's curious. Gonna cook with us a little later, too. Okay. And, and just just because I'm here to help you, Rita. Yeah. Okay. I think we're going to go to some music. Wonderful. Let me uh, find out from Linda. All right. Because okay. I'm just here to help you and be a blessing, even though these are probably my last hours. <laughs> uh -huh. People are going to write and say, yeah, I'm too hard on you now. I can see it. 